press and hold until three sets of icons show up. One, two, three. With all those icons you can access all levels. This is the icon press for programming. Press whether to edit new pattern, X out, or enter. At that point your machine will home position. To discover your coordinates, you can use metric settings, and your first one is to jump. It's going to ask you the question, no, jump, yes. Now with that, I'm ready to move to my first coordinate. Your X is here, your Y is here. I'm simply going to move to my first coordinate. In this case, we'll call it 15 on the X. and 15 on the Y. If I'm satisfied with that point, I set it and I enter it. Now that's the first jump. You see the line is green now, but no stitches have been entered. Next, we're going to set our first sew line. I'm going to choose from the menu, these choices, the next page, linear sewing is basically the straight line and say yes. Now it's going to ask you for a stitch length. 3 O, oh, 3 millimeters gives you roughly 9 stitches to the inch. And the speed is adjustable, but we'll call it 2000 and enter that. If you're happy with that window, you enter. So the line we're fixing to create will be under those parameters. And I'm going to jump, not jump, I'm going to move to 30 on the Y. So I'm 15 millimeters off center, 30 millimeters back. I'm happy with that. I'm going to set the point, and when I enter it, the yellow is your stitching now. The green is the jump, the yellow is the stitching. Next line, go through the same steps to pick linear sewing. You can have different stitch lengths at this point and different speeds. Leave it the same, enter it. Now let's move over. 15 millimeters. If I'm happy with that, set it, enter it. Now I've got stitches. Next line, again, choose linear sewing, enter that, same parameters, enter that. And I'm going to move back. On the Y, to minus 15. So I've got 15 in the X and 15 in the y, minus 15 in the Y. Enter that. Next line. Again, choose linear sewing. Enter that. Same parameters there. Enter that. And move back to 15 and 15 puts us back in the same starting point. 15 and 15. Happy? Press point set. Enter it. And now a simple tie over stitch. Again, linear sewing. Enter that. Leave my parameters here the same. Enter that. 
and I'm going to go half the distance just because we can. So to 15. Point set. Enter that. Now my pattern is completed. I want to add the trim. Yes. Now you see the icon jump there to show trimming. Now I can enter this here and it picks the next available pattern which is three. And I just simply say yes. And with that, the sample pattern is completed. Turn that off. Go out. Return to sewing mode. Yes. And there's my new pattern. And there I can press ready. I can choose patterns here. There's the flat pattern. There's a circle pattern that we don't want because we don't want the clamp to be messed up. So we're going to trash that pattern. It's gone. So in that pattern, see this. We drop the clamp. This button here comes up where you can adjust your height of your jump foot if you were using one. Or you can choose there and then you can walk step by step the pattern. And you see the plus sign is moving all around. You can check to make sure you have clearance in your clamp all the way to the red dot which is the finish and back out and back it back out and that allows you to check everything there this setting here allows you to enter a jump foot when you want it or when you don't want it so it's a programmable jump foot so let's get back out of that. And we're back to there. Now since our clamp is not designed for this, we're going to take that out. Pattern 3, we're going to trash. Now we're back to one pattern. X off that. This is your ready button. In this mode here, you can change your tension electronically. You can change your speed. Maybe I want to make a maximum speed of 1500. Call it 1100. Now it won't go over 1100. Now back to 23. Here's your percentage values where you can increase or decrease the pattern as a whole in percentages. Here also is where you wind your bobbin. Simply press the button, hit the start button, hit the start pedal. When you finish winding the bobbin, hit the start pedal again and back out. You can label the pattern. Pattern one. You can name it. Call it flap run stitch. And again, that's just your intermittent presser foot or your jump foot. When you're ready to sew, 